Oh, goodness sake, he did it again. He did, he did, he did. Here, here we are. It's been a long time since I did that. <laughs> Welcome back for more Punishment, kids. It's the old sweetie. Will you hand me the mic? And then I just yeah. go and thrust it in front of her face when we go live. Yeah. Uh, fun times. Yeah, it's the old sweetie. Hand me the mic and boom, he got me. He got me. Yes. This was the first video we did today. This was a Patreon exclusive. The beginning of their end is upon them. And oh boy, is it going to be messy. It is going to be messy, messy, messy. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, now we figure out if there, there's meaning behind this, you know, little hand he did all the way back in those days. Oh, man. Uh, the world is not what it seems. Hey, there's a clearance sale going on over at the, at the railroad yard. What's going on here? Ah, Chicago, dozens of people actively looting, breaking into a cargo train. 50 to 150 people or more are actively just, you know, giving themselves five-finger discounts, 10-finger, whatever. Yes, this is what society is devolving into. Or should I say the dark matrix, the false matrix? I mean, it looks pretty bad. It looks like they each one have a maybe a flat screen TV or something. I don't know. But really, I mean, what are you going to do with it? Yeah, absolutely. Again, there's a matrix, a natural matrix that we are experiencing and we should experience uh, to come in here and to learn, grow, play, test our abilities, be creative. And then there's the dark matrix within that which basically tells us that we're slaves and that there's nothing we can do to stop it. Oh, well, hang on tight. Dark Matrix is running out of steam, running out of time. The illusion is, is falling apart. You know, you cannot paint enough lipstick on that pig. No, you cannot. Yes, absolutely. As, as it is, it's inevitable. And people are waking up. Meanwhile chemical leak this was yesterday in Houston area plant it did uh, take two lives and also injured over 30 people this is a very toxic uh, substance now this is hydrogen sulfide colorless potentially toxic oh yes potentially it, it can be very toxic it seeped into the air at the plant uh, Pemex, a Mexican-based oil company, said in a statement that operations were halted once the leak was detected. Local authorities were notified. Shelter-in-place orders issued for the city of Deer Park, as well as some residents of neighboring Pasadena. Uh, you know, situation, quote-unquote, under control. Yeah, after the loss of two lives and 30-some people, uh, sickened by this. You got to wonder what's going on. Was it just an accident or was this some sort of sabotage? There's been an awful lot of shelter in place, toxic spills, leaks, things of that sort lately. Oh my gosh, when we were looking this stuff up, I mean, just left and right, oh, it's used to poison this and it's used to poison that and it's used to kill this and it's used to... I mean, why are we having this stuff like so readily available just to accidentally get out in a, a city? <laughs> it's crazy. Well, the system is set up so that, again, uh, for corporations, and again, the root word of corporation is literally corpse. They're soulless, dead entities. Uh, that r really don't really care about life in general. They care about profits. Canadian Bank refuses to give customer cash without proof of why he needs it. Um, you know, it, this I put up here really uh, because we have a dear friend uh, who has bought one property for themselves and then bought another property as investment and the bank does it, it's like the bank wants you to to explain everything jump through hoops um you can't take out a certain amount of money within 30 days it's your money it's you know it's like as soon as you put your money in the bank some banks think it's theirs permanently it really really shows you um where we are at and let's see if we could listen in i can't oh, wait i don't understand what you're talking about 
doesn't get cash, I will need an invoice for a car purchase. Why? No, I'd like to, it's for, if the car's payment's for in cash, I, I can't, I can't use a bank draft. Are you buying from like a private Yeah, it's private. Person? It's literally from my friend. From your friend? Yeah, but he wants it in cash. Can he give you like anything that you purchase purchasing from him? No, I don't, you don't need that. I, bro, what is it? I'm only asking for three. What, what is this? I, I, it's my money. I'm allowed to withdraw from my own bank account. He said that what's the maximum limit you can give a withdrawal to a customer? It's $3,000 on the day. You've already mentioned that multiple times. Yeah, not today. Why not today? Today I would need a bank or I would get the invoice. But why? You don't, so you need proof of what it is? Why is that? And why is that? Why is that? Why do you need? Why do you need me to tell you what it is? Why do you need? What kind of proof is that? I bring in a note. Like, what? How is that? What is that going to change? I don't understand. So that would you, you, you need to give my money. I'm not taking a bank job. I would like cash, please. Yeah, I'm going to give you cash. Okay, wait. I'm just going to sit here until you give me cash. So I'm not going to leave. Okay. Well, if you want to have a sit there. And then do what? What? Who am I waiting for? Uh, I can get the manager to talk to you. Oh yeah, get the manager because yeah, this is not like it's unbelievable. There. You know, it, it, at that point, it's like, just give me all my money and let me cancel this account. These these, these big, big banks especially, I mean, the biggest of the bigs, the, the Chase, the Bank of America, the Wells Fargo, um, you know, again, these, these entities, it's like it's not your money. And, you know, the reality is the system is set up against us and they're taking it to another level. So realize this what he's going through here and this is up in canada um people are getting harassed now you know here in the united states and other other countries as well there's going to come the time when you know you're going to have to we know this is part of the plan you're going to have to explain everything all the time this is just that step towards where they give you uh, whatever it is universal basic income two thousand a month three thousand four thousand whatever you get and whatever you have left over at the end of the month, they're going to wipe it out. And then you're going to start anew. It, it's like an allowance to, to live on the planet and to live in their system. Well, screw them. You know, take their system and, you know, shove it where the sun doesn't shine because people aren't going to put up with this for, for much longer. No, they, they won't. You know, it's um, something that's really awful. And I know a family member a while ago sent us a video of, of this is something similar about living in this world where uh, every, everyone, you know, they gets run, they got run out of their town because of a fire or whatever, and they put them in these barracks where each person got a, a room and they got so much money in their account. And with that money, they had to buy food, they had to pay their own rent, they had to buy water, they had to do all the things. And uh, before they got their next check, well, the balance was hit to zero. And the only way you could get out of that is if, oh, well, you might have an opportunity to uh, do something special and test something for them. But if you test this thing, it, it could be deadly, you know, but you could also get out. It's just, I mean, I watched this video and it was a mess. It seemed like the same person who wrote I Pet Goat wrote this video. It was very... Um, disturbing but you could feel the truth in it yeah absolutely uh the system cannot collapse fast enough for many of us and here you have a, a perfect example of what the system is uh harris over here kamala ordered the north carolina national guard to load disaster relief supplies onto a cargo plane for a photo op they never shipped it anywhere it was just all for a photo op this is exactly what we have. I mean, she's an actress. You know, her, her, she, she's, you know, she couldn't be a teller in a bank and, and nothing against tellers in banks. She, you know, I'm just saying she cannot truly do what her position is supposed to be according to, you know, the, the writ of law. Her, a lawyer? Did she ever really try a case? Um, I, I think, again, when you look closely, it's always who you know. Uh, as I've shared with you, I've had a family member that went to Yale, happened to be in some of the same classes as President, younger President Bush. And he said, you know, my family member said, he's a dunce. 
He is a dunce. Well, you know, I don't know who has the higher IQ, Kamala or him. It's close. There's no way these people are running anything. All they do is act. You know, it's it's actors to Hollywood. It's actors to D.C. It depends on where they can best utilize you. Meanwhile, this is Venice, Florida. And you can see uh, some of these homes buried in sand. Uh, again, <laughs> This is part of what the, the system is doing in these times. We, we know there's an orchestrated effort to sell us on climate change. Well, you know, newsflash, climate always changes. You know, nothing stays really steady. And yet, at the same time, it doesn't mean uh, that it's our fault. It's gaslighting. That is called gaslighting. When somebody does something intentionally and then they blame you for it, that's called gaslighting. Well, that's what the system, the politician, the bankers, the scientists, that's what they do every single day. They're professionals. They're professionals at it, and they hit you from all sorts of directions. They're professional gaslighters. Well, the only gas they should be lighting is coming out of their anus. I agree. And then that could maybe set them off on the way to Mars where they don't have to return. We'll take it. Yes, absolutely. Maybe they'll see some Kling Klingons while they're over there. I certainly hope so. Yes, I do. Yes, absolutely. You won't find the Galactic Federation hanging out with these people. And meanwhile, Helene inflicts over $6 billion in agricultural and forestry losses in Georgia. This is impacting key U.S. crop production. Oh, is that a surprise? Well, again, what are they trying to do? They're trying to feed us, you know, just stuff that is inedible for anybody. Or it, it's, you could eat it, but it's going to just toxify you. You know, they want all that Gil Bates fake meat, and et cetera, et cetera, all the GMOs, all that uh, stuff that they're putting into the food supply that should never be there in the first place. Is it any surprise? No, they want you to register your chickens. They want you to register your chickens in certain countries and certain states. Okay, well, this, this is Henrietta. This is Harriet. I've heard of people registering their frozen chickens, too, just, just to mess with the system. But, you know, personally, I wouldn't entertain it. No, I mean, it's beyond insanity. It really, really is. What's insane is, is again people complying and even thinking that they're doing something good. Um, this is Misho Kaku. And what they're talking about openly is the fact that, you know what? We could use lasers to control the weather. And, you know, again, this is on record. Something's telling me don't play this one. But I'll give you guys the link. As you can see, this is CBS this morning. Lasers could influence weather events. Because uh, it could be something where, you know, again, copyright or you can't show this in a certain uh, country. That's happened before, especially with the Gil Bates character. Uh, especially some of those talks he did, those TED Talks and and others where he either Freudian slipped or, you know, he just basically wanted to gloat over what he is doing. Uh, yeah, the question, I thought this was disinformation, right? You know, this is where the system shows how contradictory it is. Because it discloses that it controls the weather, and then it gives you the little Wikipedias that, that say, you know, contrails are, you know, just a conspiracy theory. It's only condensation. And then yet there's patents and everything. And even news people saying we've been controlling the weather for 80 years. And then you still have people that will basically say, oh, well, you know, you got your tinfoil hat on. They didn't, they didn't even kickstart their brain, you know, to, to go and, and figure this out is not hard. There, there's so much information out there. And then, you know, you have to wonder, what's wrong with people? Well, the reality is, you know, it really is a zombie apocalypse. And, and a lot of the people out there, they, they're not even capable of, of really understanding what they're even looking at. 
You know, I, I think information is a good thing. It's a wonderful thing. It, it, it can be useful, but people shouldn't always just simply believe it and think that it's, it's you know, it's the end all, be all. You know, what, one thing that broke me from that uh, when it comes to science and the things that scientists say is learning that all the science it, it's only following the money it's only following the money and when the money changes the science changes so I, everything that the science does um, I've to lost complete and total faith in the so-called science of the 3D Absolutely. You know, as this is saying, it's bringing up Operation Popeye, which, you know, I have probably said that that phrase, Operation Popeye, a thousand times. I kid you not. I, I probably have. Uh, Cindy knows, you know, uh, that I'm always trying to explain things to people online and in videos. It's just right there again. You have a uh, 50 over 50 cloud seeding experiments that were conducted not in operation popeye but in uh, other different time periods and the department of defense viewed the uh the results as outstandingly successful 82 percent of the cloud seeded produced rain within a brief period after the seeding you know this was even better than what they did it's it's all right here you know these these are of official documents official history.state.gov you know again y it's right out there in the open and still there are people well maybe they're just too busy keeping up with p diddy and the kardashians that's what i think too and here is w another reality the power of prayer the eye of milton collapsed before hitting shore w you know you know thank you guys because we we did the lives and it's not that it was just us that knocked it out there were so many people that were praying that this storm wouldn't have the impact that the last one did so many people realized that what happened with helene should never ever happen again it was an atrocity that we'll probably never know exactly how many lives were lost. So, so much intention going out to stop this. And sure, we did help. Absolutely. And you know what? You know, the prayers of Catholics helped. And the prayers of Protestants helped. And the prayers of, of Jewish people uh, helped. And, and, uh, and Muslims and pagans and, and Taoists and, and Hindus and, and you know, whatever term an atheist would want to use maybe just intention because that's really what it is you know we could we could use other terms and turn things dogmatic but it's using our intention and this is where the system doesn't want us to understand oh we could stop it in its tracks mm -hmm. well there's a whole lot of things that you could call that energy you know religion calls it prayer and people like us we maybe we call it you know manifestation but it's all the same energy it's all consciousness there's really no reason to split hairs it worked and it does work and it's wonderful yes you know humanity uh did it and you know this is with the help of, of higher entities but see, nobody would really think off the top of their head that saying that God works miracles is doing anything negative. But at the same time, what it does is it takes power away from us. And we do have power to influence this reality. That's the part they don't want people to understand. As you have Elon Musk introducing an army of Optimus robots. Yeah, here they come rolling out. You could get one for thirty k, twenty to thirty thousand dollars. You know, maybe you know the same price as an economy car, I guess, in in this market. And it could be your buddy. It could do all sorts of things. Let's listen to Elon. Because I think everyone of the eight billion people of Earth, I think everyone's going to want that their optimist buddy, and. There's going to be some, maybe two, uh, and then they'll be they'll be producing products and services. I, I predict actually, provided we t address risks of digital superintelligence, uh, eighty percent will eighty percent probability probability of good a good outcome. <laughs> Look on the bright side. 
Um, the cup is 80% full. Um, the, uh, the cost of products and services will decline dramatically, and basically anyone will be able to have any products and services they, they want. One of the things we wanted to show tonight was uh, that Optimus is not a canned video. It's not walled off. The Optimus robots will walk among you. Please, please be nice to the Optimus robots. So you'll be able to walk right up to them and um, they'll serve drinks at the bar. Yeah, exactly. I was asking Cindy, look at his, his energy because, you know, I see energy around living people, but she can see energy from, you know, even videos and photos. And so she was seeing his, his energy is very chaotic because he knows he's he's lying. He's hiding something. Right. He's lying. So his energy, he's not very comfortable at all. So when that happens, you can see the clashing of the energy. You can see the chaos. You can see it just, and it, and it, you, you can also feel it in a person too. You can just feel when they are not comfortable in their own skin. They are not, uh, they know that what they're saying is not true and it, it's at a very deep level. So whatever he's talking about, a 80% good outcome, uh, no, he, he knows that there's something very, very wrong with this picture. And this is a post from Elon. We robot? We robot. Hmm, where's it going with that? Interesting. I remember the old days, and this does remind me of my Aunt Irene. Uh, yeah, look at that. Cooking for everybody. Humanity lived in a world where the extended family was weaved like a fabric of love and support held together by parents, not robots, that found beauty and fulfillment in their daily lives and things they did together. That looks like when we cook for the babies. Yes, it, it does kind of look like when we're cooking for the babies. Yes, the puppies. Well, I think Rama could, well, actually, it's Sita that's the eater. Um, you know, as far as Elon's version of of cars, I prefer this. Do you remember this? 1967 Oldsmobile 70X Toronado. So, I mean, Elon must appreciate it. It's got an X in there, right? Look at that. It has its own little console, and it's actually got like a little sofa. Isn't that crazy? Man, the late 60s, those were some cars. That's beauty. They were uh, just cool. I mean, the epitome of cool. Oh, and uh, <laughs> listen to the bot. Now that we're talking about it, let's listen. Oh, where did it go? Oh, wow. Ah, interesting. They don't want us listening. Why, why is this not? Let's see if we reload it. That's curious. Maybe AI is refusing to let us. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, it was going on before. The thing that, um, I'll give you guys the link. The thing that sticks out is the fluidity. Yeah. I mean, the fluidity is, is kind of stunning. Stunning. You're expecting like, well, let me check. Well, Wikipedia says, no, it's not. I mean, it's like a real fluid conversation. It really is, you know, and um, the human was getting more stuck than the robot. The robot just, you know, I mean, just flew right through it. It wasn't a problem, which is frightening. That means that they have been watching us and listening uh, to us and interacting with us a lot more than what they say. And here is a little miracle. A woman finds her dog in rubble during live shot after the tornado destroyed the home. What a amazing gift Yeah, after that horrible tragedy. Look at the little guy there. Isn't that just, you know, again, nature will find a way. And we do have angels protecting us. Uh, we don't have to worry about fallen angels per se. You have to worry more about AI because AI is the ultimate uh, evil on the other side. Uh, again, what we have is the Draco, what we call the Draco, which, you know, again, is the reason why you have these pictures of devilish looking beings with pitchforks. It's kind of like taking the jinn and the reptilians and combining it all into one. They puppet the humans. And, and a lot of times, once the human 
is um, at a certain point where that source spark has gotten really dulled out. They're nothing but meat suits, like meat suits like um, Men in Black, where the <laughs> the farmers, you know, he's almost falling off. His skin and the flesh is almost falling off, and truly, it, there's not a human in there anymore. You know, cats can sense a lot of things, and they're pretty wild c- creatures. They see into the other densities. Oh, my gosh, but they didn't see the tinfoil on the counter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, some things are just freaky. Whoa. Yeah, I mean that's uh that's uh pretty springy there for that cat. Yep, uh, it's pretty fun. It's amazing when you think of humans too. Like if we if we fall twenty or thirty feet, typically it's it's a problem. If a cat falls the equivalent, it's no big deal. How do they always end up on their feet? When you see it, they have an amazing sense of balance and agility. They're truly, truly, truly amazing creatures, just like all the other creatures out there. They have superpowers. Then when you look at um, the great apes, you know, you look at chimpanzees, monkeys, uh, orangutans and stuff, such, and, you know, you think about their strength. They are way stronger than we are, way stronger. Why is that? Why is that? Is it the fact that we don't really come from here? Ah, that could be part of it. Yes, absolutely. As you see, the nature at its most beautiful with this pup is just enjoying it, playing with the surf, and here you have the sun, which someday will no longer be uh, behind an artificial lens. Uh, It is going to wake up, and it is going to fry that lens, and it is the solar flash Uh, which I think we're going to get more than one solar flash ever increasing that's going to be deteriorating deteriorating and breaking up this system and all the constructs that they have. And when that big one comes, no, we're not going to fry it into crispy critters. It's not going to be uh, like knowing what Nicolas Cage. What it's going to be is, well, it's going to be a little bit more like the biblical phrase, you know, we will all be changed. Yes, you'll find yourself uh, in that incorruptible body. Yeah, absolutely. We are going to be experiencing uh, a fifth density version of things for those that are on the ascension path. We're not losing anything. In fact, we're going to realize how much uh, we have gained. Absolutely. And again, some will redo 3D. Uh, some may choose to you know, experience a 4D existence. It really is up to the individual. When you talk about judgment, the only one that judges you is yourself and, and talking about the higher self and its purpose for our lives. Again, source is in, in us. We are all fractals of the one source. And this is just well known to so many uh, people in certain traditions, just not the traditions that have been the dominant force on the planet because it takes power away from the control system. Indeed. Look forward to your comments. Thank you for your support. Join us on the Patreon family. Again, just a dollar a month or actually $10.80 when you pay for a year in advance. Uh, exclusive videos go up there every week and it does support the channel. Source bless and namaste. Namaste. Namaste.